people deluded i'm back again thank you very much for returning and them things just going to offer a couple of thoughts in regards to a couple of things i've been seeing firstly we've been linked with a 16 year old called sapalovanov i cannot say his name let's call him as forgive me my guy need to hear your name and i won't get it wrong again but he's 16 i think he's playing for a team in his homeland have never seen him before have not got too much information but we've been linked with him allegedly he's been on trial at arsenal before and we're trying to set up a second trial he's linked with a couple similar stature clubs and i'm all for it man i've never seen him before but i'm all for it you look at under 18s level um, a lot of them are kicking into under 23 saka obviously is eligible for next season but you don't want him playing under 18s amici who bads it up when he plays coil and john jules will be eligible I'm, I'm not even too sure even balligan might have to step up permanently into the under 23s so you're looking at Cotwell, you're probably looking at Greenwood, to, uh, two players who are eligible but want to step up, want to step up ideally to that level. You're looking at them to kind of be the flag bearers. So in terms of depth, in terms of quality of depth, I'm all for that. Allegedly in his homeland, he's playing reserves football and he's only 16. If it's a similar structure to what we have at, at, in our home country, then he's got to be okay, right? So I'm all for it. Even guys like Swanson won't be eligible as well for that level. So people will be too old or be trying to kick on to um, under 23s. So I'm all for it, man. Um, we're, allegedly, we're going to have a lot of first-year scholars to come around. Obviously, if we sign him, he'll technically be a first-year scholar. But it gives us a lot of depth and stuff. And and potentially, I don't know how, how much he's played as he played international football at his young age. You can't discount that experience within your side. I know we've got that Romanian lad to come into the team as well. But yeah, crack on with that. Um... I'd also say as well, people, let's move on to slightly transfer other transfer news. Um, Forgan Hazard, I know a lot of you, he mixes his opinions. Personally, I like him. Is he, the most, is he the most standout signing I would like out of all the wingers? Of course not, but I think he's a good player, man. I think he, he can play a couple of roles. I think he's got a lot in his game. He can mix it up and come short. He can take his man on, ultimately can score goals. He's 26. I'm not too sure how much it would cost, but he, he's got to cost slightly cheaper than certain other targets. That being said, he's been linked with Juventus, Liverpool and Atletico Madrid. And I think, in fact, the hierarchy at Gladbach have more or less said um, they're going to sell him and they've confirmed that they're going to sell him. And an article that I saw, which I'll paraphrase the quotes, he said he doesn't know if he'll go to um, Borussia Dortmund, the team heavily linked with him, Atletico Madrid or Liverpool. Allegedly, he favours a move to Dortmund, but um, for obvious reasons, Gladblatt don't want to sell him to Dortmund. So that could open it up for us. If I was him, I'd want to join Liverpool, the teams we're linked with. It'd be fantastic depth. But is he concerned he won't play that much? And it might be similar, something similar to Chelsea when he had to leave to grow as a player. I'm not too sure. Obviously, you've got Atletico Madrid with Liverpool as well, which I'd have to be, I'd be fully on that equally as well, people. I would have liked him at our club, to be fair, because he's 26. He's got nine goals and nine assists so far this season, so he's shown he can score an assist. Might It won't be cheap, but it will be a decent sort of signing for a decent little bit of money. Um, He's shown... He's shown, he's shown um, Good little patches of his brilliance for me, man. Um, and also, I thought I'd talk about Tuvan of, of Marseille. Now, Marseille's seasons have been a bit up and down, and as has his performances. Allegedly, a big part of that is because he wants to depart the club. I'm not too sure how true that is. But um, I, feel he, he, I feel he started off very well to the first half of the season, was on fire, and he's gone a bit cold, and then he's gone hot, and he, he's gone through patches like this. There's patches or weeks or game weeks he can't stop scoring can't stop showing his great free kick ability teamwork ability and all his technical qualities but then there's periods where he doesn't score like i'm sure he hasn't scored or assisted in the last three four game weeks forgive me if i'm wrong and even away from that the performances have been a bit up and down at 26 years of age having won the world cup and been linked with other with some big teams has his um motivation no disrespect to marseille um, gone sort of thing now he's going to cost Arsenal a pretty penny and we probably won't go for him but we're linked with their type director of football or their technical director whatever you want to call it so possibly if if Mr My Man is coming with coming um, to, to, to Arsenal can he bring him with us can he get us a little deal I'm not too sure I'm just speculating as a, as a fan to be fair with you um, so yeah that's all I wanted to add and, and off topic as well, I thought I'll just slap this into this vid as well. I think Lomberg will manage Arsenal one day, personally, people. And that's only because, I don't know, man. I feel the way of the... If not him, someone else that's internally groomed into this role. Because I feel that's where football is going to go. I have a separate vid about it. But I think managers 
are going to be groomed in-house. Similar to, you see how you have Pep Guardiola and Arteta next to him. Arteta is going to get his experience, be groomed. Possibly, I even think managers will go out on loan where they haven't technically left the club, but they've gone somewhere where they can develop and, and cut their teeth and then they'll come back eventually. I think developing managers in-house is a thing of the future. And Lomberg seems to be that. He's doing great work for the under-23s previously, great work for the under-18s. He obviously went to Wolfsburg with Jonker, an opportunity you can't begrudge him for going because... It's an elevation sort of thing. Didn't work out. But I'm really impressed with how the young players take to his tactics. I'm really impressed with how he changes his tactics. The young players he gives opportunities to. Um, the way he likes to play football, especially playing out from the back with the keeper. For obvious reasons, or Kwonku and all the other young keepers, they're going to need to be able to do that at that level and progress to the first team will be able to take that if a chance comes. So I think Longberg is being groomed in-house. And obviously, if you watched Arsenal in the last over 20 years, you know who Longberg is. He was a... Great player on the pitch. No few players know the club more than him. So, yeah, man. And he's also obviously played under Wenger and I'm sure under other, other managers he's taken things off and, and things like that. Not just him, man. I like to see this with Lomberg, obviously Murta Saka and there's several other examples um, that we could push upon and hopefully there'll be more. Um, so, yeah, man, that's all I was going to say. So, we've spoken about Sapolo Latov. I can't say his name. We've spoken about Lomberg and I've offered my opinions on Tulvan and Forgan Hazard. On that note, I'm going to keep it moving so I'm not late for work. So, people, deluded, thank you for watching. I'm out.